our lead rope still coming through. And as you can see, we've got Mackenzie Brown, Locker. Let's go, Tiani! Here we go. We will be the Division Three Southern Section Champions. Fastest runner in the country this year, both on cross country and track, running very well. Good job, good job. The sophomore from Dana Hills gives the second section. Murray from Dana Hills. Let's go! 2019 CF Southern Section Division One Finals here at Riverside Championship Course. This is our Division One runner-up team, Crescenta Valley High School. CB actually came into the year ranked number two in Division One. The division had a lot of question marks coming in, and during the season, those question marks continued. A lot of interchange in the rankings, a lot of up and downs for all the teams, CV included. Today was basically judgment day for a lot of these teams. CV came through, but even one last bit of a nerve-wracking situation. When you guys finished up in third, uh, initially in third place, there was a chip that was missed. Once it was factored in, the Falcons actually got second. Talking with them off camera before the interview, we talked a little bit about how competitive it was in Division One. Uh, who wants to go and answer this question first? First off, you guys were in a very tough league with schools like Burbank and Arcadia that basically helped help you guys get calloused for championship time. How much nerves was there in today's race, and how did you guys feel you guys did in light of what you got coming in? Sorry for the long question there. Did somebody? I felt like there was there's like a lot of nerves going into it and I normally don't get nervous like this season I hadn't really been nervous but then going in today I was pretty nervous because we we had won the league meet too and then we also won league finals so we thought well like we have to keep on like winning and it would be not good if we didn't like at least beat the teams in our league and we really wanted to podium so it was cool. Dylan, you mentioned beforehand the team was trying not to look at any rankings and such and just basically focus on other things. Uh, what did you guys feel like was the situation coming into this weekend? Yeah, I mean, it was funny because, like, the only rankings I'd really looked at were the preseason ones. And I think you guys were the only ones who'd rank, you guys ranked us second, but everyone else was like, oh, yeah, Burbank, they're, they're kind of the ones to look at. So uh, we, we kind of knew all season what we could do more than I think a lot of other people did. So it was really nice today just to kind of show people, like people I'm sure had their doubts about us, but we just, I think, quelled those and we want to do that again at the state meet. I think we have more to show. Okay. The, uh, as you mentioned, all the teams in Division One had pretty interesting years this year, a lot, a lot of bouts of adversity. You guys managed it pretty well. Uh, did you guys talk a great deal? I mean, Division One was so nerve-wracking, a lot of the teams were worried, that they, a lot of the top teams were worried they wouldn't get through. You guys are through, but were you guys thinking coming into this weekend about state goals, or were you guys thinking, heck, this could be the end of the road? What was the kind of the mindset like coming in? I, th I feel like we were pretty confident that we would make it to state. Okay. It, um, it was more of a focus of whether or not we would do well here, and just taking it one step at a time is the best way to do it, in our opinion. Last race of the day, it can on this course obviously get a little bit dusty. It was getting a little bit warm. So again, there's other things that could get in the way that if you're not ready up here, things could fall apart. How, how well did you guys think you guys were prepared up here between the years coming into postseason? Do you guys feel pretty, pretty confident in that sense? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think the mental challenge is, at least at the postseason, the biggest thing because at this time, it doesn't really come down to times as much as it does just racing and being able to expend a lot of mental energy. So I think that we are much more prepared this year than we were last year. We were able to keep relatively injury free, which definitely helps on the mental side. And there weren't really too many sicknesses. So all of that added up together, along with what I think is like one of the best team chemistries that I've, that I've been a part of. Uh, it allowed us to just like have a lot of mental energy that we were able to kind of convert into good racing today. Okay, I should have opened up really quickly with uh, our team names here, our individual names if we can from left to right. All right uh, Max Burton, Jack Myers, Eric Foisla, Chris Kubius, Bryce Patetti, Rowan Fitzgerald, Dylan Wilbur, Nolan Brown. Outstanding. So Christina Valley's got a long tradition of always doing well at the end of the season. Always putting together, and they did it again this time. Second place team here, Division One, Southern Section Finals. Good job, guys. Way to go. Thank you. Thank you.